Hello boys and girls, I hope that you guys are having a fabulous day. Today with Miss Daisy, you guys are going to measure how much water fits into your cup by using spoons. Today, we are gonna measure our food using cups. You are going to need a bowl, some measuring cups, You're gonna need some cereal. And you will need some milk. And of course, your spoon to eat. First, we're gonna measure our cereal. Cereal is part of the grains in the food pyramid. For grains, you are gonna need about four to five ounces each day. And four to five ounces of grains is about one cup of your cereal. So this is one cup, and we're gonna measure it all the way to the top. This is how one cup looks like. Now pour it onto your bowl. Next, we're gonna measure our milk. This is also a measuring cup, and when you fill it to the top, that's one cup. But for dairy, which is our milk, you will need three quarter cups of milk. So that means we're not gonna fill the cup up. Three quarter cups. Pouring the milk onto your cup, you might need some help, but you can pour the cup onto the bowl. For dairy, you need about two and a half cups each day. You can get your dairy from cheese, from milk, and from yogurt. Now that you measured out your food, you are ready to eat. Hmm. It's important to know how much you eat because you don't want to eat too much or too little. What happens when you eat too much food? Well, sometimes you get a tummy ache. Sometimes you eat so much food that your body can't get rid of it all. And the food starts building up and up and up and it blocks these tiny little tunnels where your blood is supposed to flow through. And if your blood can't get to your heart, then your heart gets sick, and we don't want that. But what happens when you eat too, too little? Well, if you eat too little, you're not gonna have strength, and your bones are gonna be weak, and you're not gonna grow. That's why it's important to eat just the right amount. I hope that you guys stay strong and healthy and I will see you guys in the next activity.